Most online tutorials for building chatbots using Streamlit depend on using ChatGPT or Replicate REST APIs for accessing LLMs. None of them are free. You have to pay for their API usage. So to save you some bucks, in today's video, we will use open source LLMs available through a tool named Olama for building our chatbot. Olama lets us run open source LLMs on our local computer for free. It even has REST API, which we can access using its Python library. We will use Llama 2 model with 7 billion parameters for building our chatbot. The front end of the chatbot will be created using Streamlit. So without further ado, let's get started. To run LLMs on your local machine, you first need to install Olama. For that, you can go to Olama website, olama.com. And there, there is a button to download Olama. So once you click on it, it will take you to the download page. And from there, based on your operating system, you need to install Olama. So in my case, uh, mine is a Linux operating system. So I simply need to execute this command in the shell or terminal. And once I execute this command, uh, it will install Olama. So once Olama is installed, so you can go to terminal and execute this command to verify that whether Olama is installed successfully or not. And if you see this uh, help page, then it confirms that Olama is successfully installed on your system. Once Olama is successfully installed on your system, the next step is to download the model that we are going to use for our chatbot. For that, you need to go to terminal and execute command Olama pull and then Llama 2. And executing this command will download all the files of this model Llama 2 and put it on your system. So this step can take some time to execute because the file size are generally in GBs. Now this command Olama pull Llama 2 will download a Llama 2 model with 7 billion parameters. But let's say that you want to use Llama 2 with 13 billion parameters or 70 billion parameters. Or instead of Llama 2, let's say that you want to use some other models. So for that, you can go to the website of Olama and from top, you can search for models. So let's say if I go to Llama 2, then there is a tab named text. So once you click on it, it will show you a list of text. So by default, as you can see, this one will Llama 2 will download the latest version with 3.8 GB and it's a model with 7 billion parameter. And if you want to download a model with 70 billion parameter, then you need to execute this command Olama pull Llama 2 colon 70 billion. So if you want to use the Llama 2 with the different parameters, then follow these instructions. In order to run LLMs on your local machine, you need at least 8 GB of RAM. So if you are planning to run Olama model with 7 billion parameters, then you need at least 8 GB of RAM. And if you are planning to run model with even higher parameters, so let's say that you want to use the model with 13 billion parameters, then you will need at least 16 GB of RAM. And 30 GB of RAM is required for 33 billion parameters models. So keep that in mind. So the total code for the chatbot is kept in this file chatbot.py. So at the beginning of this file, I have imported Streamlit and Olama libraries. So Olama is a wrapper around the Olama tool and it let us access various LLMs available through Olama. So in our case, we will use it to access Llama 2. And behind the scene, it uses the REST APIs of Olama tool to access various models. So at the top, first of all, I have set the title of our chatbot. Next, I am checking for this uh, messages uh, variable in session state. So we will be maintaining this uh, session state variable name messages, which will have a history of our chat. So it will have a list of messages uh, entered by user and the response is generated by the assistant. So if there is no messages, so if the user is just starting out and this is the first session, then we will initialize it with this uh, simple one message from assistant saying, how can I help you? So each individual message in this list is a dictionary. And it has the two attributes role and content role will be either user or assistant and content will be the content of that particular role. So after we have initialized this session state variable, we look through all the session state messages. And each time we check whether the role is user or its assistant. And then we write that particular message to our chatbot. So st.chat message function, let us write whatever message we want to write. So over here we provide role which can be user and if it's user then use this avatar and on that we call a function name write to which we give the actual content. So to write we can give any content, we can give text, we can give markdown and so on, we can also give code. 
and it will display that and in else the messages for the assistant will be displayed next i have declared a generator so this function is generator which will be hitting our olama model and retrieve response so it will be yielding one token at a time so at the top first line i am calling a chat function on olama library and then we we can give it a model name so in this case llama2 and we have set stream to true so what this will do is that this will return a response which is a generator and we can look through generator to retrieve individual token and messages are list of messages so this will be the history of the communication or conversation so then we can look through a response which is a generator and we can retrieve individual entry so individual entry is again a dictionary and inside of there there is a key name message and then inside of message there is a key name content where the individual token generated is present so we try we retrieve that token and then we add that token to a intermediate variable i'm maintaining this uh, intermediate variable name full message and it is maintained as a session state variable so each time token is generated it will keep on appending that token to this message and then it will yield that token as well so this generator will be used to generate one token at a time next is the if statement which is based on walrus operator so for that we are using chat input widget and this widget lets us provide any input so whatever input you provide so that will be assigned to prompt variable and that prompt variable will be checked so if user has provided any input then we go inside this uh, if condition so whatever prompt that user has provided will be first added to session state variable messages we are simply appending to that list that whatever user has entered then we are writing that user message to the ui and that's what we are doing over here using chat message we have given our avatar and called write function to write prompt whatever prompt next we are initializing this uh, intermediate variable full message which we have used inside of uh, our generator so we have initialized it with empty string and to this empty string we will keep on appending individual tokens which are generated and next line of code is uh, again called to chat message so this function will be used to write chat message of assistant to ui and on that we are calling write stream function so this function accepts generator or callable which returns uh, individual token so in our case it's a generate response so generate response will keep on returning one token at a time and that one token will be keep on printing on the ui so it will kind of create a typewriter effect and once the total response is generated we again update our chat history with the latest message so role is assistant and now in full message the total response generated by the assistant will be present so that's the code of our dashboard we were able to create uh, this chatbot in less than 30 lines of code so now that i have explained you the code next let's go ahead and run this chatbot and interact with it so in order to run the chatbot first of all we need to start olama server and for that you need to go to terminal and execute this command olama serve and this command will start the olama server so as you can see on my system the server has started and this uh, server will be used to access various llms and in our case it will be used to access llama2 model so once olama server is up and running next we need to start a new terminal and from there we can run our streamlit app so let me execute the command to run the app and as you can see the streamlit app is up and running as you can see on my screen it has started a new tab in my browser and from there we can see my chatbot so let me ask it a question and yeah as you can see it generated a response in a typewriter like fashion and it generated a response in one short paragraph explaining about uh, Elon Musk so let's go ahead and ask it a follow-up question all right so it has successfully rephrased our previous response so let's ask it one last question let's ask it to generate a python function for checking prime number Alright, so as you can see our chatbot can generate code as well and the code is properly displayed on the screen. 
So that's it for today's tutorial. If you have any doubts or any questions, then let me know in the comment section. Feel free to extend this chatbot, add more functionalities, try different LLMs models and see you in the next tutorial.